What is going on? Sean here with Rendered Reality. Welcome to this week's Quick Shot of VR Espresso. Three, two, one, go. Off this week with the release of Ernest Fine's sequel to Ready Player One, respectively called Ready Player Two. If you haven't already read the first book yet and you've only seen the movie, I highly recommend that you read it. The movie was great, but it left out a lot when compared to the book. So far, the second book is really good, but I haven't finished it yet. Make sure you check out Big Screen in VR on December 5th where the author Ernest Klein will join big screen founder Darshan Shankar for a Q&A session, which should be pretty interesting. And there's already been talks about the next book being a prequel that would cover the founding of the Oasis. Upcoming title Dream House will allow you to experience every step of building your dream house and then being able to experience that build inside VR. They even have a built-in physics-based system for when you're ready to tear down that wall, as well as the ability to import other assets into the game for even more personalization. This title is being built in Unreal Engine 5, so it should boast some pretty impressive visuals. My favorite part about this is they have a single and multiplayer modes, and I think it'd be awesome to recreate your home or VR space and then have a friend from across the globe check it out with you. Or to recreate some awesome places in the world that you may never get to experience for yourself. It appears the VR support is only for experiencing the space after it's built and not the actual building process, but this part is kind of unclear right now. Either way, I think some cool things can be done with this, or just let your wife go wild after watching too much HGTV. It seems another patent has come out for the Sony PSVR 2, and this time it shows some possible haptic feedback in the headset itself. What? This could be amazing or utterly terrible. I'm really not sure. But Sony's haptic feedback is always on point, and I would love the new adaptive trigger system that is in the new PS5 controllers to make their way to VR. Who knows what could come of this, if anything at all. I mean, it is just a patent, but I have some faith in Sony in the haptics department and look forward to seeing what they do. Are you ready for the brain interface computer to be coupled with your VR headset? I honestly don't think that I'm ready, but it looks like it'll be coming sooner or later. A company called OpenBCI has announced that they are making a new hardware and software platform specifically for immersive headsets. The new hardware is designed to attach to both AR and VR headsets with multiple sensors designed to monitor biometric data streams in real time, with sensors intended to measure data from the brain, eyes, heart, skin, and muscles. This will ultimately allow it to measure human emotions and facial expressions, including happiness, anxiety, depression, attention span, and interest level. This will allow developers to create more immersive content tailored to the individual. I'm sure this will take a while before this ever makes it to a consumer grade VR headset, but it probably will eventually, and things could get a little bit weird. A sci-fi VR shooter game called Guardians is coming to the Quest and PC VR platform, which sets out to blend gameplay from both real-time strategy and first-person shooter genres. It will feature a single-player campaign as well as multiplayer PvP and PvE modes. It will also have crossplay between PC VR and Quest. As a Guardian, you are part of an elite unit responsible for protecting the Federation while they extract a newly discovered and mysterious new energy source, Perovskite, a red and very powerful mineral that only grows in the outer rim of the galaxy. In addition to their powerful arsenal, Guardians can also instantly summon and control defense structures and units to help them fight invading armies. After watching the trailer, I wasn't necessarily wowed, but it might be worth checking out, and you never know, I have been fooled by trailers before. After the award-winning puzzle game A Fisherman's Tale, the development team known as Interspace VR are thrilled to open a new chapter for the studio and to announce their next VR adventure, Mask Maker. Step into a magical mask workshop, meet Prospero the mask maker, and become his apprentice. Discover his secret world and solve the ultimate mystery behind the masks. They are claiming this is the most challenging and ambitious project they have ever done. And they are devoted more than ever to creating a narrative game that doubles down on the magic of being in VR, either for newcomers or the hardcore VR enthusiasts. And that's it for this week's VR Espresso. Make sure you catch us live every Saturday morning for Coffee and VR. We will see you there. Later.